So I'm Carl Agee, and I'm uh, director of the Institute of Meteoritics here at UNM. I'm also a professor in the Department of Earth and Planetary Sciences. And um, what we're doing here today is we're um, having a, a celebration of the reopening of the Meteorite Museum. It's a renovation that's uh, taken place over uh, the past few months, um, and it's the first upgrade of the museum in 41 years. The museum is a, is a, um, uh, a representation of our collection, which is a, about a thousand unique meteorite types. Um, they ranging from ones like the Norton County meteorite here behind me that fell in Kansas in 1948, to uh, recent finds that we've uh, uh, been able to bring back from the Sahara Desert, meteorites that are coming from Mars and the Moon, for example. They're a great teaching tool. Um, they uh, <coughs> allow students to get a hands-on experience. Um, they're also a great outreach tool, uh, a way for UNM to reach the community not only in Albuquerque, but nationwide. Meteorites are our tangible um, specimens from the, the solar system. Many of them are from the very beginning of time, from the origin of the solar system. Some of our carbonaceous chondrites, for example, are the most ancient materials that we know of, dating back to beyond 4.5 billion years. My thanks go, goes out to um, William Payne, uh, first of all, who is a, a state legislator in the Senate. He um, managed to get us two uh, significant grants to, to uh, kickstart this whole project. And then the provost's office uh, here at UNM, who, uh, when they saw the interest from the state legislature, decided to chip in uh, enough mo uh, additional funds so that it could become a reality. There's also a great uh, group of uh, designers and planners here at UNM who uh, were the team that uh, helped put all of this together. And without their, uh, you know, their expertise, we wouldn't have uh, been able to realize this either.